Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And the devil, taking him up into an high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Did they want Carter out? Yes, they wanted Carter out. They wanted Carter out. He wouldn't play the, the, by the rules? Or what was I don't it? know why they wanted him out, but they wanted him out. Carter was ineffective. He did not have the support of all the American people. Um, they need people who can manipulate the American people so that they have their support. My message is to you is don't support anybody unless they're doing what we know to be right. Don't believe them. Don't fall for the manipulations. Double check everything they say. <laughs> and that means you can't rely on the media as it is today either. Oh, of course not. All the media in this country, radio, television, and print, is all owned by five corporations. All of these corporations that own the media are owned and controlled, and members of the Council on Foreign Relations sit on their board of directors. Can you name those five corporations? Is that yeah, not off the top of my head? Okay, I, I could try, but I don't want to take a chance on being uh, inaccurate. But you can trace that yourself. Okay. Remember, if you go down and you trace the ownership of a station or a newspaper, and you get to a corporation, remember that somebody owns that corporation, and it's usually another corporation. But when you when you trace the interlocking of all these things, when you get to the top, there's five. And all journalists know that there's some things you don't write about. And you don't talk about because you'll lose your job. And that's where the control is. And that's why they pay anchormen like Dan Rather $2 million a year. Because he doesn't question them. He knows that if he goes against them, he's going to lose $2 million a year. Do you think a man that looks pretty and sits in front of a TV camera for the 6 o'clock news is worth $2 million a year? No way. I don't care how long he works and I don't care what he does. There is no job worth $2 million a year. That's why they pay athletes these fantastic salaries. I was listening to the radio the other day. They just contracted to pay one, one player on one team $6 million a year. Can you believe this? And why is that? It's the Roman circus. What does the emperor do when the people become restive? And when the people are asking questions, and when the people don't like the policies of the emperor, he sends them to the circus. He creates a circus. He builds a giant coliseum. And he begins to throw the Christians to the lions. And he has great chariot races, and football games, and basketball games, all to keep the idiots preoccupied with things that don't mean anything in the scheme of the entire world so that they don't have the time to learn what the truth is, so they don't ever get smart enough to learn how they're being manipulated, so they don't ever question the emperor. That's why they pay a player on a football team or a baseball team a million or two million or three million dollars a year. It is the Roman circus. I know men who don't know anything in the world except who plays third base for the Mets. And they think that's a great accomplishment. And they meet and pat each other on the back and bond and go have cocktails and talk about what this guy that plays third base for the Mets did in last night's game. It's sad. It's really sad. Is there any room in... in uh in a kind of society where these manipulations are not taking place for this type of entertainment or any type of entertainment at all? If people understand that a game is a game, if people understand that nobody, nobody, no matter what they do, is worth paying two or three million dollars a year for, people should be able to get rich if they want to. Mm -hmm. 
by the sweat of their individual labor. Okay. By going on doing something for the world. Mm -hmm. Not by taking people's minds away from the emperor. It's a game. Football's a game. Football's a game. But let me tell you something. When 150 of the most powerful men and women in the world can meet in secret in Baden-Baden, Germany, can plot the fate of billions, and nobody even cares about it, but six football players go to lunch together, and it's in the headlines across the country, you have a reflection of the society in which that exists. And it is a sick, sick society that is doomed to self-destruction. So based on that scenario, there's some truth into what these, these men are looking at. Absolutely, and that's what makes me so sick, is that I'm trying to wake up a people who on a daily basis are proving the ones that I'm warning them about to be right. Mm -hmm. well, he looketh upon men, and if any say, I have sinned and perverted that which was right, and it profited me not, he will deliver his soul from going into the pit, and his life shall see the light. Lo, all these things worketh God oftentimes with man, to bring back his soul from the pit, to be enlightened with the light of the living. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the Scriptures, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the Scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.